A lot of people would have said, okay, Ricky, if you're going to invest 200000 into this coaching business that doesn't exist right now and become the number one coach in the industry, you're nuts. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. So I am curious, how does somebody go from being a, a laborer, ten dollars an hour, you know, laying laying shingles and metal, to the idea of being a real estate agent? That I mean, how, what, what was the light bulb moment, or what happened that, that goes, hey, I could do that? Well, I failed a history class in college. I went to four different colleges in two years, and I uh, failed a history class at University of Alabama, and I just. I, I've always, I'm always looking for what, where, like, I'm gonna find what the next level is, you know, what the next step towards, you know, product, to positive production, and I'm gonna take that step, whatever, whatever it takes, you know. Um, it was like when I was at the bottom, when I lost everything, was bankrupt. I went right back to roofing houses by the hour, making twelve thousand a year, mm -hmm. and. You know, then I had the opportunity to work on an oil rig for forty-four thousand a year, and uh, and I was like, uh, immediate, like there was no questions asked, you know. And I did, at this time I had zero bills. I was completely, I, I was completely broke. I let everything go back. I was bankrupt. I was foreclosed. I was everything. I was done. The only bill I had was my cell phone bill and my real estate license. I never let my license go back. I didn't have power bills, rent, you know, anything. I just bought food, my cell phone, and I kept my real estate license up. That was it. So I didn't need 44,000 is what I'm saying, yeah. but I still did it because that was the best option available at the time. I'm always going to take the best option available at the time. You know, so real estate, I realized when I fell that history class, real estate was one class to get your license. And then you had the same opportunity as doctors and lawyers, same the same financial opportunities as doctors and lawyers and you know all these people that go to college for, you know, a little under a decade. Yeah. And all I have to do is take one class and I can and I have the same opportunity as these guys. You know, like I have I have a situation where my income can be like sky's the limit kind of deal, like as much as I want to do I can make. And all I have to do is take one class. You know, please tell me this again and tell me this isn't a, a joke or, <laughs> yeah. you know. I'm a little slow. Can you outline that one yeah. more time for me? Yeah. Is this, is this a dream kind of thing? Like, yes, I'll do that, please. But yeah, the funny sure. thing is, is when I got in the class, I was, I, I didn't know if I really wanted to do it. I was just kind of checking it out, you know. I wasn't like fully committed and the, the teacher started telling us how, um, once you pass the class, you got a year to do your to take your state test. Once you mm -hmm. take your state test, you got 90 days to find a, a broker. Once you find the broker, you got six months to take a pro license and all this and that. And I was like, Good Lord, I don't, this is see. I thought I thought you could just get your real estate license and then it was like a driver's license. It was just like yeah. you had it forever and you could just sell property later if you want to, kind of thing. I didn't realize there was all these continuing education classes and you know fees and. Uh, processes and stuff and so I was like I don't even know if I want to do this or not you know right but I came home and uh, roofed houses went back to roofing and I roofed houses with dad for like three days and I was like I think I'm gonna try this real estate thing <laughs> you know so oh that's pretty awesome very very cool so uh, let's talk about the journey so you make the switch from being a roofer to becoming a, a solo real estate agent yeah um, you know how that you do you even remember how that first six months felt what you did yeah, yeah. Uh, the figuring it out. First thirty days, I was like, "Dad, I'm done roofing," and uh, I worked in the office for thirty days. Didn't sell anything, and said, "Hey, Dad, I got to come back to the roof because, you know, I had bills I had to pay." So. Um, the first 30 days I worked full time, didn't sell anything, went back. So then I was roofing and doing real estate at the same time. It took me eight months from getting my license to closing my first deal. So it was an eight month process. You know, I was I was riding around with dad, hopping on roofs, laying shingles and metal and um, answering my phone and, you know, sending letters out and just trying to figure it all out. You know, about a year and a half into the business, I looked back at those eight months and I realized that there were several opportunities that I could have capitalized on that I just didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't realize, peep, you know, prospects will give you hints, you know, that they're ready to do stuff. And if you're not experienced enough to know what those hints are or what the lingo is, then you will miss the opportunity, you know? And so that's, that's one thing 
um, you know, for new agents that's tough is, you know, your that learning curve and you're going to lose a lot of deals. You're going to lose a lot of deals as a new agent within your first year you know that you probably should have got but because of your inexperience you didn't get it and it's gonna hurt yeah you know it's, it's gonna sting but that's part of the process you know none of this is easy yeah. you know none I of this is easy I think it's really good for people to hear that even Ricky you know the million dollar producer three years in a row all of that and, and all of your, your success you've earned it still took you eight months to get the first deal I think I think it's important for people to realize that are kind of in the struggle um, yeah, you know, like uh, in 2012, I tried to do a team. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I went through about 12 agents in a year and a half and just completely aborted that mission. And that's when I really started to sell a lot of property when I aborted that mission. But one of my standards was if you don't sell anything in your first six months, you're out of here. Uh -huh. And I was thinking I would have fired myself. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Oops. Yeah, I would have I would have fired myself. So, you know, it just kind of goes to show you. And, and too, I know a lot of really top producers that had to take their pre their state test multiple. I know a guy, I think he took it 8 times and he's a very high producer. This yeah. guy makes hundreds of thousands every year and he had to take a state test like 8 times or something like that and you know, so you just can't get discouraged. You just, like I was saying, there's nothing special about anything that I'm doing here. I just right. don't stop. You know, during those eight months, I could have quit many times and said, oh, you know, yeah. heck, you know, I was 20 years old. You know how long eight months is for a 20 year old that's on a roof that doesn't want to be there? You know, that wants to be selling real estate? Eight months? Oh, yeah. That is a lifetime, bro. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, I, you're so right. I could have definitely hung it up many times, you know, but yeah. just don't stop. It's the same thing with this coaching thing, you know. I mean, for the first couple of years, I was, I lost, I've lost so much money you know in this coaching thing now it's a profitable business you know through my speeches and books and different deals that I'm doing yeah. um, now it's profitable but man I, I lost literally hundreds of thousands in the first couple of years um, just trying to get it build a name and I could have quit so many times because I was taking time away from my million dollar real estate business to do sure. something I'm losing money on Sure. You know, and it, and it was it was it was a little bit ludicrous to be honest with you. But you know, you have to take those risks, and you just can't quit. You know, yeah. uh, I mean, a lot of people would have said, "Okay, Ricky, if you're going to invest two hundred thousand into this coaching business that doesn't exist right now and become the number one coach in the industry, you're nuts." You yeah. know, and, and and you're gonna and you're gonna teach you're gonna teach uh, agents how to sell property for free. Right, you're gonna invest two hundred thousand into a coaching program where you're coaching agents for free. Yeah. You know, I mean that's that's insane. But I had the vision. You know, I just yeah. I understood. So.